I don't want to bring out the heavy cup. Well, <laughs> you can just stay inside. Hey, I kept mine close. You know why? Because Chica you asked I this, and Chicago was like, mm. Done. So on yeah. Friday, when you're wearing green, which you will, right? Well, I'm wearing it today, just kind of <laughs> getting a jump start on St. Patrick's Day. You can wear green and lots of layers, too, okay. because okay. that's the day that everyone's going to be saying, okay, winter's back. Yeah. Here we go again. Today, temperatures were in the 60s for the second straight day. And when we get to next weekend, as well as the early part of next week, we could be seeing 50s for highs and 30s for lows. Bottom line, a cold blast is coming. So if you think it's cold already, just you wait. Temperature outside right now, 57 degrees. Our high today made it up to 69, second consecutive day of cooler than average temperatures. How do you spell weather whiplash? A-U-S-T-I-N. Here you go, 75 tomorrow, 81 on Thursday, accompanied by the possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms. Cold front busts through. Friday, we're only in the 50s. All right, so let's talk about temperatures currently. 51 in Mason, 53 in Lago Vista, 60 in Bastrop. Some of these temperatures will be warmer than we see all weekend long in some parts, especially in the hill country. One week disturbance pushing to the east. We're starting to see the clouds break up. Overnight tonight, we should see partial clearing. And tomorrow is beautiful, partly cloudy sky. High temperature up to 75 degrees. Then the big disturbance out west that's wreaking havoc there is going to bring in more Gulf of Mexico moisture for us ahead of that next cold front. And here we go. Potential for strong to severe thunderstorms. A level two of five risk in yellow, which encompasses most of our area. Large hail and high winds, the main threats could see scattered. Isolated tornadoes can't be ruled out. Also got to keep an eye for flooding rain, especially in our easternmost areas where potential for over an inch of rain. Yes, we need the rain. Just hope it doesn't come too much too soon. All right, so tomorrow morning, patchy clouds mixing with sunshine 40s. Lunchtime into the 60s. Afternoon basking in 70s, a beautiful day. Thursday, we might see some non-severe showers, maybe an isolated rumble even in the morning hours. It's midday when we may possibly see some stronger storms pop up. I think the main quarter of concern will be into the evening hours. Here we go with the cold front coming through. 9.30, 10.30, heading toward 11.30, and then finally by about 1 a.m. Biggest concerns, hail and high winds. And then we talk about temperatures. So 70s tomorrow, 81, a weather alert day for your Thursday, St. Patrick's Day in the 50s, plus a northerly wind, 20 to 30. Saturday, Sunday, and on into Monday, which is the first day of spring. Highs even colder and lows in the 30s. We'll be right back.